Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the WeatherNow link on this uh, Thursday evening. Uh, what time is it? 9.30. A beautiful night in Providence. Skies are clear. It feels more like an autumn night. The humidity is much lower than yesterday. Temperatures are cooling down. Some spots are already down in the 50s, and many of us actually dropping into the 50s overnight and towards daybreak on Friday. Satellite and radar composite shows uh, just crystal clear skies all across New England. This cloudiness off to our south is actually moisture from what was once a Hurricane Adalia. Now what's being called a, a, a post-tropical storm. I mean, it, it's a circulation of rain and wind. It is offshore. And this will tend to meander offshore for many days, right in this general area, staying south of New England. We'll still keep an eye on it. That Meantime, that's Hurricane Franklin, Category 1 storm. Uh, that continues to pull away, but it's still throwing back some rip currents at area beaches. We'll get on to that in just a second. Uh, look at the wider view of the national picture here from coast to coast and border to border. I mean, just the absence of anything really widespread or organized as far as storms. Bottom line, we've got a pretty quiet weather pattern ahead. In fact, really a nice stretch of weather now through the holiday weekend and beyond. We'll take a look at uh, well, these are the weather buoys. These are just floating weather stations out over the water. And this buoy here south and east of Nantucket yesterday had 11-foot waves. So these wave heights have been coming down. Now, that's one reason why uh, the, the high surf advisory has been discontinued. But the rip current risk is still high now through Friday. So a lot of caution going in the water tomorrow. Even though it's a nice beach day, uh, the rip current risk is there. Temps as of 9, almost 10 o'clock on this late Thursday evening. You can see Smithfield getting a head start down at 53. Look into Bedford, 55. Hyannis, 56. So a lot of areas getting down to as cool as 50, 55 overnight just before daybreak on Friday. That is a definite fallish feel. Again, the rip current risk uh, continues for the beaches on Friday, possibly for Saturday too, so check back with us. Uh, gorgeous weather ahead now through uh, really the holiday weekend and even into uh, early next week. Uh, so looks pretty good. Uh, we're, you know, a little cool on the cool side next 24 hours, but turning warmer later in the week actually starting saturday but more so sunday and monday both of those days including labor day monday you can get temperatures going to be well into the 80s so the forecast for your friday morning looking good really the entire day is just spectacular and nice cool start early in the 50s by 11 a.m it's in the low to mid 70s and then during the afternoon oof, this is nice stuff here sunshine dry comfortable uh, temperature around 77 now it's great beach weather but the concern here is that we do have uh, that uh, high risk of rip currents. Uh, air temperature and water temperature generally I, close to uh, the lower 70s. Beautiful on the bay for Friday uh, with blue skies and dry air. Good visibility. North breeze turning east and then eventually southeast towards evening at around uh, 10 knots. So wrapping it up, uh, a beautiful stretch of weather ahead now through the holiday weekend. Just be mindful that the beaches, the water is still somewhat of a problem as far as uh, the rip current risk, but otherwise uh, lots of sunshine.